Hello guys. What is going up? What is going what is going up? Yep, that's a new phrase. Um yeah, what's going on? I just want to do a quick video about my custom built computer right there. I have successfully overclocked my Core i5 3330 non-K CPU with the stock cooler. <laughs> yep, that's right. I've definitely I have overclocked it from 3.0 stock to 3.6 all I did was change the multiplier in the BIOS from 30 to 36 and BAM we have 3.6 gigahertz running on this thing that is pretty pretty awesome I got a slight FPS boost in Minecraft and GTA so that was pretty cool by about 10 FPS um, the voltage automatically adjusted because my motherboard is like awesome like that and uh, it went automatically went up from uh, 1.0 to 1.1 which I know it's not a lot but uh, yeah it's non-K so I, I think that's pretty damn good for a non-K CPU right now it's running at 3.4 because I'm not doing anything but um, yeah that's one of the downsides to overclocking with a non-K CPU is that essentially turbo boost is still enabled so I, I actually don't know if that's true. I know I've, it, it has been at 3.6, like it, it said 3600 right there. Uh, so I think that it's because of Turbo Boost, it, it downclocks it by 200 megahertz uh, until you, you know, do something really intensive, then it bumps it back up to 3.6, or you know, you know, your normal processor speed. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're running 1.1 volts rather than 1.0. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and open real temp and I can show you my temperatures I ran um, prime 95 for about five minutes and it got temperatures got to above 90 uh, with the stock crappy Intel cooler so there you go there are my temperatures right now again I'm not doing too much I just uh, finished playing a game uh, finished playing Minecraft for the past couple of hours so those are my temps uh, when I was playing Minecraft it didn't go over 70 so I say that's not too bad for you know the crappy stock cooler as you can see, we're at the, uh, you know, mid to high 50s, which is perfectly fine. And, uh, yeah. And to top it all off, while I'm talking about the crappy stock cooler, I'm going to buy a new cooler because, uh, yeah, it's just time. I've been putting it off for way too long. Uh, this entire time I've had this computer, I've just been like, well, this computer's pretty awesome, except for one thing, the CPU cooler. That's the only totally crap part of this computer. So, what I'm going to do is either tonight or tomorrow I'm going to go to my local fries and buy like a new cooler probably like a Hyper 212 or something like that I have about 60 bucks which is like over there and uh, I'm gonna take that with me and I'm going to buy whatever I can afford so that's kinda cool I was gonna kinda go for a Corsair H60 for, at first but I don't know I don't think it's really necessary to spend the extra cash and uh, you know pumps wear out after a couple of years anyway so yeah, I think I'm just going to go with a Hyper 212 or, uh, you know, something comparable to that. But if I can get, like, you know, an H50 for a good deal, an H50 or an H60 or whatever they got there, some kind of water cooler, if I can get that for under 60 bucks, then I'll, I'll do it. But um, at this point, I think I'm just going to go with, like, you know, an air cooler. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, so I would go into the BIOS and show you the multiplier and all that crap, but... You know, what's the point? Oh uh, yeah, that's just pretty sweet. We are at 3.6 gigahertz. Pretty awesome. Anyway, yeah, that is just my successful overclock of a non-K Core i5. I believe that only the non-K i5s and i7s can do this, so not the i3s. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and uh, yeah, now my processor is running at 3.6 gigahertz. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I forgot I was recording a video. And okay, I'm going to stop this video now. Bye.